What's good, wealth builders? It's the man, it's the myth, the wealth builder himself, the Vaughn put in work, Burke, and it's business corner recap time. The Amazon roll up, restaurants are losing, and nothing but space and opportunity. Man, let's see. Yeah. That on my grind is an understatement. I don't think I'm thinking you can check my bank statement. I'm about my money, yeah, that's a basic. World domination is what I'm truly facing. Okay, before we get started, make sure you subscribe to the channel because we talk about making more money, saving more money, building a better you and business. So without further ado, let's get to the topic on hand. The Business Corner Recap for the week of July 12th through the 18th. All right, so you ever heard of an Amazon roll-up company? Me neither, but it's actually a thing. Okay, so what does Amazon roll-up actually mean? It's a company that aggregates successful Amazon merchants and uh, companies like Elevate Brands and others have snagged a cool $250 million worth of investments in this space, including $2 billion for Thrasio, $400 million for the Raza Group, and $70 million for Heyday. Amazon merchants make prime acquisition targets because it's estimated there are fifth, I'm sorry, five million sellers on Amazon Marketplace. There are three main reasons investors love them. Amazon itself is deeply entrenched among consumers and is likely to keep growing market share. Amazon handles warehousing and shipping, allowing roll-ups to quickly cut costs and boost profits by consolidating supply lines. With enough brands, a roll-up might be able to negotiate with Amazon for better prices or personalized service. Elevate started as sellers before joining the role of Gold Rush. This hands-on experience helps them relate to the acquisition targets. This also means they know what it takes to grow an Amazon Marketplace brand. Unlike other roll-ups, Elevate doesn't focus on specific product categories. With 25 companies under its umbrella, the only common thread is a preference for businesses with patents. The roll-up market is crowding fast. More bidders means more competition, leading to bigger paydays. This is great news for Amazon merchants, but for roll-ups, not so much. In this context, the differentiation will be key. Say that again, differentiation. <laughs> but the bigger question, as the roll-up market gains steam, when will we see the first roll-up of roll-ups, right? All right, so, restaurants. Keep it moving. People are finally returning to restaurants and bars, but waiting staff and bartenders have moved on to find better opportunities. Even though the pandemic originally pushed many workers out of jobs, even as the economy is reopening, more are still on their way out. Restaurant workers leaving their jobs hit a 5.7% percentage in May, and that's a 20-year high. Although the restaurant and bar industry filled 194,000 jobs in the last month or two, employment numbers are still down by 1.3 million compared to early 2020. So where did they go? Searches for restaurant jobs in April were 35% less than April 2019, but other industries have grown massively since that time. 100,000 more warehouse jobs, 39,000 more technical consulting jobs, and 25,000 more insurance and finance positions. They just have better options now. Many food service workers left after the eye-opening pandemic to find jobs that provided them more, okay? Such as higher wages, benefits, opportunities to climb the ladder, et cetera, et cetera, okay? So hey, you can't blame them. Space and opportunity. A big step for Virgin Galactic, a small step for humanity, and a giant leap for the future of space tourism. Space tourism has never been a thing for common people like you and me, but this new industry is gaining traction. It's still wildly expensive and reserved for multi-millionaires, but it might not be in the far future. The race is on. SpaceX, Blue Origin, and Virg Virgin Galactic are the three of the biggest players in the modern day space race. All three co companies plan to take people to space. Virgin Galactic's successful launch over the weekend proves that these CEOs are very serious about taking their companies to the next level. 
literally and figuratively. Virgin Galactic has seen clips, I'm sorry, dips so far in 2021, but the company is maintaining a steady but turbulent climb to stock market orbit. So there you have it, Wealth Builders. That is the business recap of the business corner for July 12th through July 18th. So there you have it. Thanks for watching. Thanks for being a wealth builder. It's the man. It's the myth. The wealth builder himself. Signing off for the business corner recap. Do remember wealth builders? Make more. Save more. Build more. Peace.